What I'm going to talk to you about today are forklift trucks. Forklift trucks are a cause of concern for many of our clients. I just want to go through some key points to look for when you're using forklift trucks. Point number one, are your operators trained and authorised to use that forklift truck? Have they been trained in the specific truck? Have they been trained recently? There is no legal requirement in the guidance for retraining, but everybody advocates around between three and five years for retraining and the use of forklift trucks. And lastly, have you got written authorization for the use of that truck? That's a requirement. You must have written authorization. Point number two, safe to drive. Is the operator safe to drive that forklift truck? Are they medically fit? Have they got the equivalent medical certificate of a Group 1 or Group B driving licence? We also advocate that they have a medical assessment, occupational health. That's usually post 45 and 5 years thereafter. Point number 3, pre-use checks. You must do pre-use checks on forklift trucks on a daily or before the shift. So you're looking at fluids, forks, check for any cracks, tyres, tyre pressures, mirrors, are they, are they cracked in the right position? If you're using cameras, CCTV, are they working? Have you checked them? If you've got beacons, if there's requirements for flashing beacons on your forklift trucks, are they working? And also look at reversing alarms to forklift trucks. You must do that before each shift and normally you do it on something that looks like a, like a tag like that which affixes to the truck, but you can use check sheets etc. Load safely. Know the machine limits before you start to use it. It's usually on the machine and in the handbook. Palletise materials where you can. Don't have loose materials on forks. So where you've got things like this on a, on a pallet, normally you wrap it, you shrink wrap it or you put it in stillages. Are the attachments compatible with the machine? So if you've got um, if you've got a, a man riding basket, for example, is it compatible with the machine? There's a guidance document from the HSE known as PM28, which I advise you to be familiar with. Man riding baskets are a particular concern. And also fork length. If you've adjusted the, the fork length of the forklift truck, is it compatible with the, with the machine? And that will derate the machine if you've got longer forks on. Number five, stay upright. Do not speed. Normally you'll have a speed limit for forklift trucks in your in the premises. Sometimes you'll actually govern the forklift truck so it can't go above a certain speed. Drive the truck correctly. Do not skid steer. Use the brakes and the controls as designed. Load not raised where possible. You can't see and a, a, large, a higher load means that you've got less stability. Post 2002, you must have a seatbelt fitted to the forklift truck and if you've got a rollover protection system, ROPS, where you've got a bar over the back, you must have a seatbelt fitted. Please ensure you wear it. I've investigated far too many fatal accidents where the operator's not been wearing a seatbelt, the forklift's gone over and the human reaction is to try and jump out and then unfortunately the operator's been trapped by the rollover protection system or the truck itself. Reversing, reverse with care. Crush injuries are most common with reversing forklift trucks. So normally you reverse the forklift truck, you crush the pedestrian between the forklift truck and a fixed object. Always look over your shoulder and use the mirrors and CCTV provided. Eye contact with, with the people you're are around you. So ensure before you reverse, you know the people around you have seen you and are aware of your presence and vice versa, they're aware of you. Use your horn, so if you're going in and out of of, of, of doors for example or going around blind corners use your horn before you do that so people know you're going to come through and segregate pedestrians so where possible ensure that you keep pedestrians away from forklift trucks use pedestrian walkways use barriers etc number seven stack safely don't overload racking so if you're using your forklift truck to load racking ensure you know the weight limit of that racking don't strike the racking. You can buy protection systems for racking. If you strike racking, it's very expensive to repair. And know the maximum stack height for palletized goods. It's normally three. When you're charging or refueling a forklift truck, ensure you put it in a safe location to park it. Remove the key and um, ensure that there's, there's no ignition sources, so no smoking, and you're in a ventilated area because of hydrogen gas. Wear PPE, so normally that's eye protection, gloves, foot protection, etc. and in some, in some cases uh, face masks. If you're using LPG and, and refueling with LPG, always do it away from pits and drains because LPG is heavier than air and it will go into, into the pit and drain. And always do it outside. 
Using your forklift truck on the road. You must ensure you've got a specific risk assessment for you to use the forklift truck on the road, in addition to your risk assessment for using the forklift truck in your premises. You must ensure the person driving that forklift truck has a Group 1 licence, and if you drive the forklift truck for more than a thousand yards on a public road, you must ensure that you conform to the road vehicle's regulations. Very importantly, the thorough examination. A big issue for our clients is ensuring we have this in place. If you uh, normal use of a truck for lifting objects, etc., it's normally 12 months. If you lift people, you must ensure that the thorough examination is done every six months. And you must keep that report of thorough examination every two years. So these are the basic points for using forklift trucks in your premises safely. We hope you found them useful. If you have any concerns, any questions, please do give us a call. Thank you.